Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I've got the Google Pixel Buds and I'm going to be pairing it with my Google Pixel phone. But I'm going to give you a quick unboxing and then go through some of the bad points of the Pixel Buds and see what you guys think. So let's get straight into it. Alright guys, let's go ahead and open the box. So you've got your pouch here. You've got the charging port at the back. Let's have a look at the headphones. Pretty compact. You have a charging indicator when you open up the case. You have a button here as well, just to check to see if it's charging and how much it's on. So three lights means it's full. Then you can go ahead and unwrap this out. And they just pop out of there. And you can see inside you have the charging ports as well for the bottom of your earbuds. So we've got the earbuds there. Go ahead and look inside. Got the instruction guide. Anything else? And we have the charging cable at the bottom inside. Alright guys, so I've had to play around with this for a little while and there are eight things that I think are wrong with the headphones. So let me run through them now. Number one, they're not truly wireless earbuds. They still have the wire, a little bit fiddly when you put them around and I would expect them to be a little bit like the Apple AirPods where you can just place them in each ear and be truly wireless. Number two, I think they're quite uncomfortable. I put them in my ears for about 10 minutes and actually my ears started hurting after 10 minutes as well. I'm not sure if it's just the way these Pixel Buds are designed. They don't fit in comfortably and having to fiddle with the wires to adjust to your ear size, I think that's way too fiddly for my liking and I don't think that's a good design to have on these earbuds. Number three, although the earbuds are touch sensitive, so you use the earbuds itself to touch and control and do voice commands with, with the Google Assistant and so on, it's quite fiddly. Once you've finished listening to your music, you take the earbuds out, you're still holding the touch sensitive parts of the earbuds and it's still playing, pausing, opening up Google Assistant, various different commands while you're trying to put them back into its charging case as well. And it's a little bit inconvenient in that sense. Number four, you can't skip tracks. You have to say and hold the earbud to say Google play the next track or you can simply say Google next and there's no way to swipe and play the next song or go to the previous song which you can in most wireless headphones. So that's a bit of a drawback, you know, when I'm on the morning commutes, the last thing I want to do is keep speaking to my headphones to keep skipping tracks. Or I have to keep going to my phone and just playing it from there. Number five, putting it back into this charging box can be a little bit fiddly. It doesn't close properly afterwards. It can sometimes just keep snapping open. It takes about 20, 30 seconds as well. It's not the easiest. The Apple earbuds are a lot easier to put in their charging cases. I wish this was a little bit more easier. But again, that's primarily due to having a wire on the earbuds as well. Number six, it's quite an expensive set of headphones for what you get. I think for £159, it's not actually worth it. I think it's way too expensive and they can do a lot better with the pricing strategy. Number seven, they're not noise cancelling. They don't fit comfortably in your ear. I can still hear everybody talking around me. I can hear the outside noises, the car noises, anything, even the birds chirping, I can hear that and it's not really great in, in terms of that for the price you pay. Lastly, number eight, the translation feature. I'm gonna be coming out with a video showing you the whole translation process next, so please do subscribe to not miss that. Now, it's a little bit inconvenient. It's, it's one way where you can hear the translation in your ears. The other person has to hear it loud. There's a bit of a delay between passing the phone to the other person and them receiving your translation and so forth. Whereas I think it would be a little bit more convenient to actually just both of you using the phone keep passing it backwards and forwards. It'll be a lot faster for me. Okay guys, so those are my eight things which I think are wrong with the Google Pixel Buds. If you have any other problems using them, please do let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think overall. If you think the sound quality is worth paying that price for. If you do use the translation features, how that's going for you and so on. Other than that, please do subscribe. I've got some more videos coming up which I think you'll like. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.